Why Arsenal Should Sign Mark Rocker, the successor to Sergio Busquets, episode 4 of 6. But before the video starts, thank you to today's sponsor, Zona Photo Studio. So I've spoken about the product before in my previous videos. That was a free 30 day trial version. So if you want your photo editing to be taken to the next level, you can get the fully licensed version for just $4.99 a month or just $29 for the whole year. In this, as well as getting everything from the free version, you'll also get a free PixBuff account. With PixBuff, you can send photos straight from Zona Photo Studio to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more. This subscription will save you $48 on a premium account. I will be talking more about this product at the end of the video, but a link will be left in the description below. This will be the fourth episode of my Who Arsenal Should Sign series. As I specified in the first episode of this series, Arsenal need to sign a deep line midfielder who can play that register role in a 4-3-3. The same role that Rodri plays for Manchester City and Busquets played for Barcelona during the spells of Guardiola and Luis Enrique. This is because Xhaka is not good enough to play this role. He's often caught on the ball in the build-up phase when the opposition look to press aggressively, as he doesn't have the same composure under pressure or tight ball control to be able to swivel out of trouble. A deep line midfielder needs to be press resistant, and these attributes are essential for a player who drops deep between the two centre-backs during the build-up phase. Lucas Torreira is more of a ball winner than a creative midfielder, and would struggle in this role in the same way that Kante struggled when he was deployed there at the start of Antonio Conte's reign. The player that I would look to bring in if I was Arsenal would be Espanyol Spanish midfielder Mark Rocca. Rocca is 23 and has played that Regista role for Espanyol as well as the Spanish under 21 side. He does have a £35 million release clause in his contract, however the fee needed to sign him will be substantially lower. This because not only does he only have two years left on his contract which expires in 2022, meaning that Espanyol want to cash in on him this summer, but Espanyol themselves are also not in great shape financially. They're bottom of La Liga and it looks like they will be relegated and they will obviously take a significant financial hit due to the problems faced by the coronavirus epidemic. If Espanyol were mid-table in La Liga, they could probably command a fee of around 30 million. However, with their current position in La Liga and the financial instability at the club, Arsenal could probably get Rocker for around the £20 million mark. Rocker's best position is in the deep single pivot of a midfield three, but under Abelardo at Espanyol, he has been used in a midfield double pivot in a 4-4-2 shape. Rocker, unlike Xhaka, is excellent at keeping hold of the ball under pressure. When the ball is played into his feet and he has an opposition player moving to close him down, he has a composure, body positioning and ball control to be able to swivel out of the press and play a pass to move the ball forward. His range of passing is also very impressive. From deep areas, he can switch the attack with one long pass, which is an extremely valuable asset for a side to have as it means that if the opposition midfield do not push up high to close down the deep line midfielder, then he can advance the attack quickly from that position. This should allow Arsenal to get the ball into their wide attackers quicker than they were able to do when Torreira and Xhaka play in this deep midfield position. When in the middle, third Rocker does on occasion have the ability to play a lofted pass over the top of the opposition's back line, which is something that Arsenal don't currently have from their current crop of central midfielders, so this would aid Arsenal's ability to create chances from deep areas. Not only this, but Rocker would improve Arsenal's ability to find players in between the lines. Arsenal's current central midfielders lack the vision and ability to play those incisive passes, which often result to them circulating the ball from side to side. Rocker can do this and this would allow Arsenal to move the ball into the final third more often. Rocker is a very good tackler in the centre of the park. He is able to face up an opposition player and position himself in a way where he can shuttle the player out wide or put in a tackle to win the ball back. This can be seen as he has completed more tackles per game than any Arsenal central midfielder this season with 2.4 completed to Lucas Herrera's 1.2 per game, Granit Xhaka's 1.7 and Matteo Guendouzi's 1.4 per game. Rocker's interceptions aren't as high as he's only managed one per game in La Liga this season, but accompanying him with two other players in central midfield should make up for this, especially alongside Lucas Torreira, who overall is a better ball winner than Rocker is. In the Arsenal system, Rocker could be used in a register role, dropping deep to receive the ball off of the centre-backs and being the side's main source of advancing the ball through the defensive and middle thirds. In possession, Rocker could form a double pivot, moving on to the left as the right back takes up an inverted full back row with the two central midfielders pushing further up the pitch between the lines. This would give Arteta's side a better balance with a possession shape transitioning between a 2-3-3-2 and a 2-2-4-2 shape. 
with one of the central midfielders, probably Torreiro, dropping deep alongside Rocker when needed and moving higher up the pitch to find space between the opposition's midfield as well. Out of possession, Rocker would be a big improvement on Xhaka in terms of his pressing. Rocker has excellent intelligence and understanding when to push up to the opposition midfield and how to cut off passing lanes into players sitting behind the midfield. Xhaka doesn't have the same positional awareness and is very erratic when closing down and making tackles, whereas Rocker's composure in these situations will lead to less fouls given away and less diving into challenges, allowing opposition players to bypass the Arsenal midfield. So overall, I think Rocker would be one of the signings of the season, particularly at the low cost of just 20 million. I think he has the potential to be the successor to Busquets in that reduced role in the Spain squad, potentially overtaking Rodri in the competition, with Rocker being a better long passer in my opinion. So thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to the channel for the other episodes. And thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Zona Photo Studio. With a licensed Zona account, you can work on unlimited number of computers. You don't have to pay for separate licenses for each one. And for a small extra fee, the other members of your household can also use Zona Photo Studio X, which is a massive bonus if you've got multiple keen photographers in your house. If you're interested, the link will be in the description below.